Okay, so here we are um, filming another episode of Pits. Um, today we have Dave Pavone of Pavone Brothers Barbecue, most recently known for his GC at the Smithfield. He's gonna give us a little tour around um, his amazing RV and Pits along with the rest of his crew that's here with us today. Go ahead and introduce everyone, Dave. This is Miss Shelby. She's the bell ringer, the box runner's running. This is Janie, she's, still, she's actually the box runner. And Mike Rollins isn't here yet. You know, you gotta do that work thing. I don't know what to tell you. So let's see what we got. All right, so all the ladies are taking a little break from the outside heat to get a tour around the interior of this amazing RV and the beautiful design work done by Miss Jane and of course, little Miss Shelby. This is, this is the non-barbecue area of the rig. Dave has his space in the back. This is my space. I keep this clean and he, I don't complain about back there and he, no barbecue up here. Unlike the other RV we had. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this is, we have the, uh, the best of both worlds. Um, Dave enjoys the the competitions, the barbecue. I enjoy the social aspect of it, and that's that's why we upgraded to this. I have double sinks, the microwave. Uh, there's a three burner stove hiding under there. Uh, the refrigerator is a residential grade with uh, two sides and two freezers. We have a queen size bed. Uh, there are one, two, three, four uh, TVs in the rig. And through this door, this is the dividing <laughs> space. Dave's area is in the back. His area is uh, totally and completely independent uh, from the uh, living space. He has his own TV, his own stereo. Uh, his own air conditioning back there. He, he could live back there and I'd never see him. Alright, so Miss Jane just finished giving us a tour around the front. So now we're going to come back with Dave, the pitmaster, and get a tour of the back. We hear you have a pretty famous saying around here for the RV. That's right. At that door, there's no barbecue past that door. The barbecue <laughs> stops here. <laughs> Put a shelf up with the uh, miscellaneous stuff that you have going around. We have our own TV system. We have our own heater and air, we have our own vent, and we have our own stereo system on the other side of the door. So we have plenty of room to work. Of course, the back end goes down to this garage, and uh, we're able to do everything in here nice and comfortable with the pit being right outside the door. All right, so Dave, now we're outside. I want to learn a, bit, a little bit more about your pit and what got you started in barbecue in the first place. Certainly. So barbecue started in 2008 doing a pig roast in my mom and dad's front yard with my brothers. Our family's always been in the kitchen. And my brother said there was a competition the next weekend in beautiful Louisa, Virginia. And we now know that as queuing crews. So we went down, we checked it out. We got to talk to Mr. Dan Hickson, which we didn't know at all that, at that point. He happens to be the guy who taught me the most about barbecue between him and Tuffy Stone. So the uh, second comp I had done after that in 2009 was Front Royal, and I got a rib call, and my call was, was right behind Dan, or right before Dan Hickson's call, which kind of set it all in stone then. So the addiction to barbecue began. So, and we went from ugly drums to backwoods to now this Jambo Pit. The Jambo Pit, of course, is made by Jamie Gear in Texas. And it is just an amazing stick burner. We, uh, we started late evening, and it runs all night for me to be warm in the morning so I can start cooking about 4 a.m. And uh, we go from there. I'll show you some, show you inside, outside, whatever you'd like to see there. But this is the Jambo Pit. It does have a microwave shelf that goes in it. So the microwave shelf stays hotter than the rest. Of course, that's a good area to do chicken, right? So we do that. Uh, we cover these fenders because this is the area that gets the grease and the drops and everything else. We did extend, extend the tabletop, had a custom tabletop made, and it's still still being worked on, but it's close to being right now. So, uh, of course, don't forget my logo. So. <laughs> we spent a lot of time with this. So this pit does all of our cooks. We use nothing but the jambo. 
So you see other teams that have a Jambo and a Drum or a Jambo and a new WSM. We found a way to do all of it on the Jambo. That's the way we like it. All right, Dave, I really want to thank you for giving us a tour around. I wish Miss Jane was out here as well so I could thank her for the front because that's honestly where I'd probably spend most of the time if I wasn't yeah. cooking over in my four tents. Um, so I really appreciate you showing up. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good luck to you cooking today. Thanks. And it looks like we have some visitors uh -huh. coming, maybe our El Presidente from MAVA. Luke, what do you have there? Right here I have with me the Maryland MAVA Cup. This is the Maryland State Championship for MAVA. Kim is holding the Gunter Wilhelm Mava State Cup knife and also a check for 250 is on the line this weekend. So will it be out to date? Will it be Team Pico? Could it be another one of our Maryland members down the street? You never know. But we thought it'd be fun to bring it over here for pits. <laughs>